I really don't need motivation. Uh, yeah, I would say I block it out, you know, just block out the noise. You know, I'm focused on the guys in this locker room and just, you know, continuing to get better each day with, with all my teammates. And, uh, you know, it's been fun, man, you know, just having an opportunity to get a bunch of reps and, you know, lead the guys. It's been real fun. You were described as a football nerd back in college, a guy that just loves to study game film and all those things. And do you still study that hard when it comes to this stuff? Or as, as a veteran, does it kind of come to you naturally? No, I study extremely hard. I write notes every day as if it was my first day on the job. Um, I'm very meticulous and detailed with my note taking. Uh, the way I watch film, I study everything. I watch other teams, I watch our team. Um, I'm watching college football, even down to high school football. I just, you know, love watching the game, always bringing new plays to Shane, and he's the same way. So, you know, we see eye to eye with those things. I look at your stats, and from 2014, after that season, I think you've played in 15 games since then. You know, you come to the stadium, you're ready to play. How tough is it for you to stay mentally into this thing all those years, you know, to be ready to go when they call you? Well, I think it stems from my own confidence in myself. You know, I've been a great player my entire life, and I knew that the opportunity would present itself. And so just staying focused on that um, and preparing myself for that opportunity allowed me to stay focused and stay engaged during the games, helping Russell, helping all the quarterbacks that I've been with, and just, you know, really being a coach until my, my number was called. Take you away from the football field. Um, Red, where your artwork is, was really important to your very good artist back in the day. I don't know how much you pick up the pen anymore, but but do you still do things like that? Yeah, I, well, I look at my game as now my art. Um, you know, when I was younger, I went to art school. I had a bunch of offers to go off to art school, but uh, they didn't have football teams, you know, so I had to make a choice early on, and I think I made the right choice. You know, I wish I had more time to do more of it. You know, being a quarterback is so strenuous, so, you know, time consuming, but, um, you know, I doodle and then I also, you know, enjoy just viewing art, you know, going to museums and seeing other people's art and, you know, the way they do things. Okay, so take you back to high school. If I asked you to draw a superhero right now, because that was your thing back then from what I read. Yeah. Uh, could you do it? Yeah, of okay, course. Okay, who would be the one, who would be the first choice that you would draw? Uh, my first choice right now would probably be, uh, mm, he's probably a super, I like Thanos. He's a super villain, but I like Thanos. He's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, last question. What do you what do you need to have at training camp? Is it, you know what's the essential? Like we talked to Max Strong years ago. He said he needed his pillow because yeah. his neck was always. What do you need to have when training camp starts? Water in my playbook. That's, That's all I it. Need. Yeah, water, some film in my playbook. That's all I need. That's the comfort zone. Yes, sir. For more local news coverage, live and on demand, watch King Five Plus. Download free on Roku and Fire TV.